Hello everyone, uh, in this video you will see a comparison between the STS, more commonly known as the Space Shuttle, and the SLS, also known as the Space Launch System. I decided to make this because I couldn't find any other videos like this, and I always just really liked how similar they were. They have pretty much the same RS-25 engines, relatively the same solid rocket boosters, and the launch procedure is relatively si similar as well. So, yeah, enjoy. Coming up on steering check for the three main engines. Verify now those three main engines are in the start position. And there they go. The four core stage RS-25 engines gimbling around, testing the ability to steer the rocket into space. They will operate at 109% performance. Each RS-25 throwing down a half million pounds of thrust. All four two million pounds, all together with the boosters, 8.8 .8 million pounds of thrust. GLS is good for upper stage to internal power. Firing chain is armed. Sound suppression water system activated. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Liftoff of Space Shuttle Atlantis on a mission to build, resupply, and to do research on the International Space Station. Houston now controlling. Atlantis begins its penultimate journey to shore up the International Space Station. Launch team can no longer recycle the count. Sound suppressor water now flowing 15. under the ML. And here we go. Ten. Hydrogen burnoff igniters initiated. Seven, six, five, four stage engine start. Three, two, one. Boosters in ignition. And liftoff of Artemis One. We rise together back to the moon and beyond. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. Atlanta steering into the center lane of Highway 129 en route to the International Space Station. Two minutes, 20 seconds into the flight, 34 miles in altitude, 48 miles downrange. Atlanta's traveling 3,200 miles an hour. confirmation that the solid rocket boosters have separated these 177 foot boosters. Now the core stage continues to power the flight of Orion, all four RS-25 engines firing, traveling over 3,400 miles per hour, 46 miles downrange. And the bird's eye view from the external tank camera of external tank separation. Atlantis now in its preliminary orbit. Commander Charlie Hobaugh will now maneuver Atlantis so that cameras embedded in the shuttle's umbilical well can perform photography of the discarded external fuel tank. And Mike Foreman and Leland Melvin are about to use digital still and video cameras to capture handheld imagery of the tank for downlink a few hours from now. A flawless climb to orbit for the shuttle Atlantis and its six crew members en route now to the International Space Station. And we have confirmation of core stage main engine cutoff. Orion is now in Earth's orbit. The flight dynamics officer reports that we have a nominal main engine cutoff. 
and we just heard the call for core stage separation. That means Orion and the interim cryogenic propulsion stage are now flying free from the core stage of the Space Launch System. The next month